today in Ari's America, our creator candy is J-Ro, AKA Jennifer Rosales. I love Jen because she's a badass. She works in the music industry. She can run a show, she can run a home, and she can run you. My name is Jennifer Rosales, recently Jennifer Davis. A little bit about myself. I grew up in Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley. Went to college, got my degree, my bachelor's degree in radio, television, and film. And now I work in the music industry. 70% of the time I'm traveling. It's getting up, collecting myself, and then just attacking the day, whether it's a day in the office, whether it's on travel day, or whether it's at a venue. It's literally different every day, which is nice. What is it to be a woman, you know, working in this crazy industry? It's harder than it looks. I feel like even though we've, you know, overcome so many obstacles as women, I feel like we still constantly have that struggle being in a man's world. I don't let that be something that like sits in my head. It's just, I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna do my best and know that I will succeed. You know, my dad's Mexican and my mom is Costa Rican. My parents were hardworking immigrants who instilled that into their kids. And now their kids are all hardworking and will eventually take care of them. You know, in Costa Rica, there's a saying called Pura Vida. And it means like, you know, pure life. And they're all so chilled and kicked back. And when I told them I had two jobs one time when I was like in college, they were, were like blown away. They're like, two jobs? When do you rest? Like, when do you, when do you live? You know? And it's, it's like, what do you mean when do I live? I don't live. Like, I just, I work. All I do is work. And they just couldn't like fathom that. And you know, as I get older, I see that now and it's like, they're right. Like, what are you working so hard for? Like, you have to be able to live. So their mentality kind of sits here while the, the Mexican sits here. <laughs> so while I'm like gunning for it, I still got to remember that I got to live and that this is all for something. It can't just be for money. My family, just in general, the support that they give me helps me make decisions because I know that regardless of what I do, they have my back, period. My husband is obviously my biggest supporter. He's like my subconscious. You know, eventually yeah, I'd want to have something that's mine, that's only mine, and that is great and massive. What that would be, I'm not sure. I just kind of leave the the board open for things, but the goal is to retire young. <laughs> Whatever that entails, you know, that's the strive. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> because I'm trying to sit on that beach, honey, with that margarita and my boo-boo, FaceTiming our grandkids. <laughs>